It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Kamenica 1881 original lager beer. Uh, it comes from Bulgaria. So this will be my first ever Bulgarian beer. Here's the bottle cap. I'm one of these guys that shop in a lot of different supermarkets. As we all do, yeah? We're all looking for good price for what we can get for our money. And every now and again, in some of the discount supermarkets, you'll get some weird, um, not very wonderful, but, but weird kind of lager. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. And I always think to myself, because it, it's, it's cheap, yeah? It's about a quid or something like that. I always think, when will I ever have the opportunity to pick up this beer again? And that's what runs through my mind. So it's, it's probably going to be quite a poor lager, yeah, this green glass bottle, hop struck straight away, but it's going to be cold, I've cooled it down, it's going to be refreshing, and it's one of those situations where, again, I'll mention it one more time, where would I ever find this beer again? So I pick it up. Good levels of carbonation, clear, light golden ale, aroma. Smells like a premium lager. And they all take me back to the summertime when I, I generally have my summer holiday in Spain and you can really only buy this cheap summer, cheap lager beer. Takes me back and I think to myself, I'm in Ibiza or I'm in Tenerife or I'm in Menorca or somewhere like that, you know, where you're going to buy San Miguel or that type of thing or, or tropical, but I have been to Bulgaria many moons ago when I was a child um, Kamenica. I got a story to tell you about Bulgaria because I remember it fondly. Let's dive in Mmm Actually for a lager, I've had worse lagers, I'm going to be honest. Oh, actually, it's the initial taste that gets me. It's like, oh. um, It is pretty bad. It is pretty bad. You have an horrible kind of first beginning of the beer. If that wasn't there, it'd be okay. On the back end, it's refreshing and drinkable and, 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 and a little bit of kind of biscuity and wheaty and you can get away with that a little bit of spiciness there on the back end but you can get away with that but the beginning the beginning is awful I don't know what that what on earth they've done to, to put this flavor and it's right smack bang at the beginning it's when you breathe and taste at the same time mm. gives your neck a creak makes you creak your neck back um, and then it all just subsides into a bit of nothingness. So, nothing really else to say about the beer. It's pretty poor. I'll tell you quickly my story about Bulgaria. Um, I remember being a small child and I was a terror. I was a real terror. I'm talking three, four, maybe five years of age. Um, I remember to this day what I did. When I went to Bulgaria, it was a communist country back then. And I remember um, my parents took me to this bar. I remember loads of windmills. My parents took me to this bar and... I purposely, I remember wanting to do it. I picked up, some guys were playing pool. I went up, picked a pool ball off the table and threw it through the window. I remember doing it, I remember the ball bouncing on the, the ceramic tiles and then bouncing through the window. And my dad went bonkers, absolutely bonkers. And um, and I remember the satisfaction, the, the, the yeah, I've just smashed a window. I was five, at, at the very most I was five. Bonkers. I didn't settle really. I didn't settle down until I was in my 20s, late, late 20s. I settled down and become a person, I think. Before that, I was a terror. Absolute terror. Yeah, so that's my story about Bulgaria. That's all I remember, really, about Bulgaria. Riding around on, on horse and carts, uh, windmills everywhere, and smashing a window with a, with a snooker ball. Crazy. Mmm. This beer is terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, what can I tell you about this beer? 
Uh, where's it from? Um, uh, Kamenitsa uh, Arch, Kamen Petkrov Street Office Building, fifth floor, Pavdiv, Republic of Bulgaria, 4.4%. That is, that is um, a really dreadful lager. That is, it, it's absolutely dire, dire straits. Um, if you go on a cheap holiday, a cheap holiday to, to, is it called Sunny Beach in Bulgaria? If you go to Sunny Beach and you have to put up with this for a week, it's going to ruin your holiday. It really is going to ruin your holiday. It's bloody awful. Um, rating. It's the initial taste. It's a shocker. Two out of ten. Two out of ten from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.